makes Winco stand out above the other competitors is we have Black Cat. Black Cat's the number one brand in America. It's been around since 1952. We're very proud to be the U.S. distributor for Black Cat Fireworks. Our company is more than 40 years old, um, officially as Winco, but we've got employees that have been with us for 35 years, uh, 25 years, 20 years. And so the experience that we can bring to the table really helps our customer from everything from setting up their stand to how much inventory they should have. But it's the experience of our people that makes us stand above a lot of other companies. We started out with one firework stand, as my, my two brothers did, and we've grown from there to uh, one of the major importers in the United States. But our salespeople even have, some of them have run their own locations, their own tents. Our marketing people have their own tents. So we're out there and we understand what it's like to be on the ground. We're not just sitting behind some desk taking a fireworks order. We get it. We go to China, uh, we pick out the product, we shoot the product, we critique the product, uh, we name the product. Our product, most of our names of our product go with the item. We just don't pick out some name out of, the, out of the sky. We actually name it to go with that firework. So that all takes experience. And um, we're very, very fortunate to have that in, in our company. Well, we have a team. It's called you know, our MPD team. And we all get in a room after we've seen the product. Uh, we used to see it in China. Unfortunately, we haven't been to China in a few years. So we watch the videos. And we look at the product. We look at the colors. We looked at the effect and then we try to figure out how to make that into a name. Um, we look at what's going on out there in the market right now. We have people on that, on that group of all ages, so we can try to hit every demographic possible, and it's just a lot, a lot of fun. Some days we can name five items in 15 minutes. Other days, we don't do anything. So sometimes you get, I guess you'd call it writer's block, but we, we just sometimes get blank. But for the most part, we can, um, we can name them pretty quick. You know, if, if you happen to be drinking a, a certain beverage, sometimes that makes it go a little easier. What's fun is when you come up with the name and it works and the people like it. And one of the, one of the ones we came up with recently was called Fountain Dew. Well, Fountain Dew is a great name. Obviously, what color is the fountain? It's green, as it should be. So that was a really fun item. We've had a lot of success with that item. For the last two to three years, there's been a major shortage of fireworks in the United States. So all the importers doubled and tripled sourced the product because we needed, we didn't want to run out again. Well, China came through and now there's an abundance of product in America. Um, so that's at, at, at a higher freight rate. The freight rates have all gone down. However, there are also a lot of holes in the industry as far as different product lines. So there's still a lot of product that needs to come in. China was obviously needs to produce less fireworks this year because there's so much inventory and there, the production was going great. And then they got hit with COVID again. The other good news is there's not as much product coming into the United States as there was of any type. So we think we can get the product through the ports a little quicker. So if product leaves later, we think we can still get it on time. The other great news that's, that's really exciting is a, a small part of our industry is the New Year's season in the southern states. And they had a very, very good retail season. So we're really optimistic about the 4th of July retail sales. Fortunately for the customer, that it's not as big a deal as it has been in the past, but there's gonna be some deals out there. It's gonna be a little bit confusing to the wholesale customer this year. For instance, we might have a bunch of stuff left from last year that we paid a lot higher freight. In other words, almost $18,000 more in freight last year for a container of fireworks than we did this year. So we're having to lower our margin to make it affordable and also to match or get closer to the product coming in now at a lower freight rate. The wholesalers are gonna see all kinds of crazy prices out there. And I think as a, as a, if I'm a customer, don't just go after that one cheap item. You gotta look at the whole line. What we're doing at Winco Fireworks is we're going line by line. Every price list we've looked at line by line and we're trying, we've lowered margins where we, where we can. And in other cases, we've not, you know, we've got the new freight rate because we, we were out of that product. So now it's gonna be much cheaper than last year. So you're gonna see a, a fluctuation of, of case prices to the wholesaler of as much as $25 a case over last year. So it's, it's and it's just going to be a very interesting year, to say the least. We consider our customers partners. We talk about, we've had some, some employees here for a long time. We've had customers here for more than 40 years. And so 
We are just loyal to our customer, we're honest with our customer, and we just think that, that what we bring to that customer is something that they can count on. When, they, when Winco tells them something, they can pretty much always count on it. The other thing is investment. We have invested all of our you know, extra earnings back into the company. We now have seven distribution centers that we've got a lot more, um, you know, a lot more room for product. We um, are a lot more efficient. It's a better working environment for our employees than it used to be because we have reinvested in Winco Fireworks as owners. They have the greatest boss in the world. No. <laughs> Now, Win Winco Fireworks, once again, we've had employees here. We treat our employees very well, but we expect a lot of our employees. We're very flexible in the off-season, but come May and June, we're not very flexible. But our team always comes and, and does what they need to do to get the job done. And believe me, in the last three or four years, we've had obstacles we never dreamed of. But, but I think people see Winco as a team, that they want to be a part of that team, because they see when we get it, it, with challenges that we all work together, and, and we hopefully reward them enough for that. Um, just recently, in the last couple of years in the off season, we get every other Friday off. It just is an extra, it doesn't kind of get your PTO days or your vacation. It's a complete different, you know, extra day off because we think that people can get their work done. But we hope that Winco, people want to work at Winco because they see that people have been here for a long, long time and there's a reason they're here. They like the environment and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good working environment. You know, I, I just think it's working with our employees and our customers. It's, I love people and, and, you know, I'm very fortunate I get to work with, with great employees and I'll, we also have some great customers. Um, I've got the experience going to China, so there's just been a lot of different things. I'm very involved in the Fireworks Association, which it makes a big difference in the fireworks industry, but at the same time I've got friends in the industry as well because of our association with the Fireworks Associations. <laughs>